All right, hopefully you're having a good day. I've been asked to do some painting for the kids, give them something to do during their time off or while under quarantine in just certain circumstances that are a little odd, but we will make it through. Today, I'm gonna start with a cow. Um, just follow along, have some fun, get creative, use your own colors, your own imagination, make it work for you. Whatever works best for you. Don't have to follow me specifically. But uh, I'm going to just use colors that I think look best. It's going to be fun. I'm going to show you right now what the colors are going to be. What the picture is going to be. And uh, get yourself started. Just have some fun with it. And here goes nothing. So what I'm going to do first is I want to paint my background a green. These are the colors I have. I have green, orange, yellow blue pink white and in the side here I have red brown and some extra black before I make a mess I'm gonna start her up here and uh, I'm just gonna do the background this green nothing fancy in the regular picture there's just a white background but I didn't like that maybe you can have some fun with this don't do it all the way through. Just do it around the edge. Maybe a couple inches, three, four inches. And again, after, if you want to get more technical and throw some more colors in there, you can do it. Have some fun. Have some fun with this. It's okay to get messy. If you really don't like those streaks in there, all you got to do is once you have your paint on, go soft from one side to another all the way across. If you still find your paint's too thin, want to add some more color, let it dry and layer up one more time and that should thicken it up enough to take care of all that. Main thing is, is get your paint on there first because once your paint's on there, then you can spread it out. So many people try and take their time putting just a little bit on at a time. Nah, don't worry about that. Throw a lot on there, have some fun. Beautiful noises from my easel. All right. The cow is gonna be in this area. So I'm just trying to make an outside edge to where I can Fill her in, shape it. I have two brushes, I have a little bit thicker wider brush, not even a one inch. And then I have a couple small ones, but I'm gonna try and keep it as simple as possible. Use two brushes only. All right. Get rid of all those extra paintbrush marks. And I think we can kind of start off here. So what I'm gonna do, wash that brush out. Dry it off good. But I'm gonna go to my small brush and just take a little bit of black and a little bit of white. Make a nice soft gray. If I can. And I'm just going to outline this giraffe. And what you'll do after is you'll go over the edges with a nice black. And then you can take care of it then. So the first thing I want to do is right in the middle, the snout, or his nose, whatever you want to call it. It actually looks like a turtle head Koopa off of Mario <laughs> so I'm gonna give it just the nose ridge gonna bring it down and around and 
And again, it's okay. We're just framing it, shaping it out. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll fix all that in later. We'll paint over it what we have to. We will make it work, don't worry. Bring it just to the edge like that. And then we're gonna do like a half circle, half moon. And this is where our mouth is gonna sit. Looks pretty sad right there, but that's okay. We'll make him happy. I'm gonna fix my edges just a little bit. If it doesn't look right, you can always stand back a bit and reshape. I'm gonna do his nose, nostrils, we're shaping those out. Couple eyes, see? Starting to look like a Koopa, huh? That's okay. Now, we want the tongue, a nice big tongue. Stick out the side, right there, just like that. And do the bottom of his chin. I'm gonna pull it down just a bit. Pull his mouth. Be the chin part. Now from here, we wanna do his eyes. So pick a corner. Just to each corner, give a little dot. If you want to start there. And just shape those eyes out. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. We're just shaping it out. Having some fun with it. Now in this picture, as you can see, there's a lot of different things going on, but you know what? Let's do this. Let's just throw his eyeballs in there. And then we're gonna do the ridges of the eyes, which would pop in here. Like so. I might remove this eye and shape it up here a little further. I see in the pictures up there a little bit higher. So let's do that in a minute. Get the head ridge in there. And again, don't worry if it's not shaping up, you can take your time. One thing that's great about painting is paint dries. And you can always paint over. things up top here oh we're getting there I'm gonna pull his chin down actually it's not his chin I guess it's part of his neck pull it down to there finish off his neck to the bottom now we want to get his big ears in here. Do this around it a little bit. Just round his ears off, his big ears. Now it's starting to look like something. Now it's starting to look like something. Actually up here, I want to go a little bit higher. Just a bit. Just a bit. Now he's starting to look a little goofy. And then, yeah, we'll just do this. Where's up here? Right there. So, hey, it kind of resembles something. Kind of resembles something. I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. Now, inside there, there are a lot of colors and shapes. So, I'm gonna go back to my big brush. It's 
it's all dried out. And I'm just going to start shaping in some colors. I'm going to kind of follow along with the picture. Blue in there. Now I'll go back and fix that green around the edge too. But let's start off with that. Find out where else we can put some blue. Under the eye. Put some blue there. Down over here. Again, you don't have to copy me exactly. Just have some fun. Get your own colors in there. Now, I'm gonna add some blue and pink together. Just make a little bit of a purple. Just to give it a little something different. Not as purple as in the picture, but you know what? It's actually turned out not too shabby. Not too shabby. And again, use whatever colors you got around the house. Maybe you want a darker purple. Just get a darker blue. If you don't already have purple. Mix it in with some pink. If you don't have that, mix it in with some red. A little bit of red and blue together. Make a nice purple. All right. Let's see. edges there clean my brush out again make a little bit of a mess of course are you really painting if you haven't made a mess I'm gonna go to yellow and add just a touch of orange to it make it more of a gold we want to get around this eye goofy have some fun with those colors I want to make a peach I'm gonna throw some white orange I'm gonna throw just a touch of pink in there make it more towards the skin tone we want to fill this all in dry first before we get into doing your skin color so that way the gray doesn't blend into what you're doing Let's see mess around with it till I get the color that I like add just a touch of white and it's okay, you're just mixing a whole bunch of colors together. Having some fun. Right now it doesn't have to be perfect, we're just shaping it. At the end is when we'll throw in our final touches. And get it looking how we want. So I want to come back. Maybe go over some of this stuff. through a little bit but that's coming along I'm gonna add just a touch more pink
get a little bit darker right there as the picture shows. A little bit darker. Now what I'll do, while it's wet, I'll take that darker stuff and just do a couple highlights around the edges. is just different tones to make your pet picture stand out. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Added a touch of red. Give it some color definition there. And it's always easier to blend while it's wet. Don't forget that. We'll come all the way over here. On the outside. There we go, that's better. I'm gonna get that tongue now. I'm gonna go towards the lighter. Pink, a little bit of white, just a touch of orange. See, it's just a little bit different, it looks a little bit different than the rest. I add a little bit more pink there, perfect. And then, add just a little bit more white. Inside the mouth, we're gonna go, I'm gonna wash my brush off here quickly. You know, I'll save the black for last. How about we do some straight on orange? I'm gonna take a little bit of red, go into that orange. Not very much, just enough to make it a little more orangier, a little more burnt orange, shall I say. Bring it right up to that blue. Bring it right down to the top of that nose. Down to the top of that nose. Wait for this bad boy. Hey, look, it's starting to come out. Where else can we put some orange? Go down along this side by the blue. The orange there. You know what? We can take the orange brush as it is. I'm just gonna dip it into the red. I'm gonna throw some red in here. Red in there. Where else are we gonna throw some red? Red's gonna be down here. Just below that chin. Doesn't matter if you mix colors. Again, this is whatever you want for colors. Have some fun with it. Bob Ross says there's no mistakes, just happy accidents, right? And he is a hero. Well of mine, anyway. He is one creative dude. And he has made painting easy and fun for everybody. Now, what do I want to do next here? Let's go into... I'm gonna grab the green. Again, wash off your brush. Get it nice and clean. Dry it off really good. As much as I wanna hit my palette, and dry it off. I'm just not gonna. Cause it would spray everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna go into green, as I mentioned. Actually, I'm gonna try and put a little bit of blue in my green. Well, that really didn't do a whole lot. My blue isn't the greatest blue. But right up here above the eye. And again, don't worry, I'm gonna go back over and touch in some of these spots with white. Do final touches. It's all good. It's all good. Down here, a little bit of green in. You know what? I also have another idea. purple here. 
now is when you can kind of start getting colorful. I haven't even put pink in here. Mix pink with a little bit of purple. I don't care if it's a messy brush. Now is when we want to kind of get fun. You know what? Sometimes you gotta take a break. And answer your phone. Sorry about that. Oh, we're making messes here, but that's okay. That is okay. We're adding in some fun little designs. Pink isn't the nicest pink. Should be thicker. Should be thicker. I won't touch all this stuff. I won't touch it up that. All right. You know what we need to do? We need to get those eyes. I'm gonna go into black a little bit. black here small brush clean up the gray dry it off all right just leave a little spot open for that little eyeball right in the middle to shine right in the middle to shine and all we're doing is just kind of shaping it up now That guy do inside the nostrils should get those nostrils out uh, probably could have spread them apart a little bit maybe I'll let it dry and do that but as long as they look all right as long as they look all right Just shape it out. See if it works for you. See if it looks good. See if it makes sense. If it doesn't, go back in. There's some hairs up there. Let's see. color in there before I get on those but I'm gonna go in here and put some shape to this and I'll throw some black in here mainly I'm just feeling it out seeing where it's gonna go you know your paint can be outside the lines it doesn't have to be perfect It doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a fun one for everybody. See? Notice how it's not going on very good in some spots. That paint is still wet. All you gotta do is just let it dry a few minutes. Clean your brush off good. Load it up with paint. Go back at it. And if you want to go a wider shape of outlining, go for it. Look at that, it's starting to come along. 
I got an idea. I'm not necessarily too fond of how much green is on that background. So I think I'm going to fix it up. It's starting to look like a cow, I guess. I mean, maybe it's one of those ones that was taken by a UFO and, you know, returned. But as far as I know, one still has his liver. Huh. Looks like it's still there, so. Let's see, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Finish this off. Finish this tongue. All right, kind of looks like something, doesn't it? Now, I'm gonna go back in with my big brush. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit. One color, I just thought. Take some white. Again, I'm gonna to touch it up after, that's not a big deal to me. It's almost like a gray, isn't it? Well, I would say so because I probably put too much black near it. Didn't clean off my brush good enough, but it's all good. So I layer that a little bit thicker white off after and I'll come back in and touch it up I think that'll look good I think that'll look good and I'll retouch up my black if I need to not a big deal you want to clean out your brush you go for it you clean out your brush and some floaties in there I'm gonna clean out my brush you know what I'm missing a little extra white, so I'm gonna grab it. Put it right back on my tray. Make sure I have enough here. No, nope, that's uh, not white. There we go. Let's see. Gross. But should be enough to. And you know what, if you want to do white, just white background, you go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. It, it'll look good either way. It'll look great either way. You know, the problem with some of this paint is just because it's paint for fun, not expensive or nothing like that. It's gonna have some flaws. And a part of that Sometimes a little floaty getting there. Old dry paint. Don't worry, I'm gonna go back in and fix that all up. I know you're looking at me, what is he doing? It's all good. It's all good. through there change it up over here whiten it up just a little bit more Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go straight back into that green. Got lots of it. I'm just gonna try and blend it together. Blend it together. 
yeah, do a little bit. Leaving that little bit of an edge. trying to blend her in a little bit around that edge with a little bit of white on the outside so it kind of shapes it frames it if you get too close you can go back in with a little bit of white blend it again blend it again See, it almost looks like I knew what I was doing. And that's the thing about painting. Do it. People think you actually know what you're doing. Even if you don't. Be confident in what you're doing. Now. Go back into that green. Just get this outer edge. Make sure that's thick. Don't forget, don't have to worry about those edges. I'm going to go back in, touch them up. if there's something wrong with us and he may have a point I'll wash my brush again I'm gonna just start throwing in some other colors just to fancy it up go on there have some fun start spreading out some colors now get fancy get fancy the second layer is always one that'll Brighten up your colors that little bit. Brighten up your colors that little bit. Pop some on there. What's going on with the blue? Look at that. Have some fun with it. Have some fun with it, people. It's kind of like a graffiti ideal situation now go over which way fun now here's the deal I want to see your guys's paintings so get your parents to load them up for me and maybe them showing a little clip of you guys at least having some fun 
while you're doing this. Because if you're not having fun, what's the point of doing this? Doesn't matter about mistakes. Doesn't matter if you do the wrong lines. That's not a concern. Because you can always take the canvas and you can always restart. Paint it white. And do it over. It certainly looks like we're just about done here. And I'm going to go back in one more time with the black we are going to highlight well not highlight we're going to outline again all this one final time now that we've done our touch ups get a little bit of extra paint on to where blending other colors and it's not smooth black wipe off your brush go in add some more black paint now, my picture shut off, but I see a lot of stuff that we can add. Some zigzags. Let's see where that went. Little lines, outline them just a bit, not a whole lot, just a bit. But we do gotta outline on this again. Maybe a little bit thicker than last time. Oh, I still didn't even touch in those little antlers sticking out there. I know they're not antlers. Maybe they're just horns. The word has eluded me. Now that we're starting to bring it all together, guess what? It's starting to actually look like something. You might say, Dustin, I'm not gonna lie. Mine is just much, much better than yours. And honestly, I would hope so. Because this isn't the best one I've done yet, but it's very enjoyable. I'm thicken that up a little bit. A little bit longer here. Why not? Why not? Why not? Look at that. It's starting to look like a lot of fun. See what happens when you outline your painting last. See how much of an effect it has on your painting. It just brings the whole thing together. People get so worried about going outside the lines at first. It's like, come on. It's not even the most important part. It's at the end. You tie it all together. That cow sticks its tongue out at you and says, wake up, dummy. It's time to have some fun. So I'm just going to throw some little lines in here. Just separate colors. A little bit, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. Now, I got to get in there with those antlers, so I'm going to wash out that brush. And I want to do a little bit of pink. I'm going to do orange in the other. Actually, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Orange. I know it's right above orange, but you know what? 
it still looked good. Okay, now. There are dots everywhere. All over this. Do not be afraid to go in. Just have some fun. We're just scribbling up this. And you know, I've probably made a mess of almost all my way. Let's see if I got a little bit here. Nope, oh, we got gray. But guess what? That's okay. You don't like that? Well, do your own. You send it to me. You show me what you've done. And I challenge all you out there. I'm just going to put my initial on the bottom. Little DW, finish it off. But I want you to do your own. And I want you to send it to me. So I can see it and know what you guys have done and I'm gonna come back again and do another one and we're gonna have some fun with that one too so alright guys have some fun take care and enjoy <laughs>